Yeah, the Bluetooth disconnected on me. <laughs> Sorry about that. And what else we got in here? Another little oval candy dish. This one's kind of simple and plain, but it's heavy. And it does have a maker's mark on the bottom. Palomar Smith. This is not exactly my forte, so I don't know anything about these things, but they do look kind of cool. Uh, this one just says hand forged on the bottom, it's like a little candy dish with a, a handle on it. And another one with a uh, movable handle. Another, like a little candy dish. And I don't really see a maker's mark on this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Farber and Shelvin Incorporated Hand Rot, number 1751. I don't think that's a date. I think it's a model number or something like that. Here's another footed hors d'oeuvre tray or something like that. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here, I'll tell you. This one is from uh, Hand Rot Creations by Rodney Kent, number 460. Anybody knows anything about some of this stuff, be sure and let me know. A big handled tray. Just says hand forged number 24 on the bottom. Really big tray, fancy with little fancy handles and stuff on it. Federal silver look hand wrought again. <laughs> and a bonus, some kind of little hand mirror. This is a old vintage style one that's uh, magnifying on one side. Yeah, this is the magnifying side here. Whoa! And a regular. Actually in fairly decent shape. It will clean up nicely. A little damage to the mirroring, a little fading and stuff. Well, actually not. I think it will... <laughs> it looks like... And it's got an actual bevel in the glass around the edge. I can feel it. So this is vintage piece. Still going. Keep hearing this little beep beep once in a while. And I mentioned uh, some of the mirrored stuff. This is a picture. I've got another bag of aluminum back there. More stuff yet. But this is some of the uh, mirrored stuff I'd mentioned. This is a half round piece. There are some corner, quarter, round, quarter pieces. And they all have this relief uh, ground into the back of them. This one's got some. And they also also have holes for mounting. And the lady I got these from, she thinks these came from a one of those old Rococo theaters with a ladies' bathroom, and this was on the inside of the ladies' bathroom. Because there's these, and then there's long panels that are probably about 15 inches long or so. And then there's some corner pieces and stuff, so there's a whole bunch. I got one, two, three, three boxes of that stuff in here. And the mirroring and silvering is kind of rough on some of them. I have a couple that have been re redone, but most of it's pretty rough shape, but... Who knows, maybe some vintage mirror people or whatever might like this stuff. Let's see what else we got back here. Another big tray of vintage stuff. This is kind of cool. This is a uh, uh, an aluminum uh, cigarette box. I can tell by the shape of it. It looks like it had... It was a cigarette box for like out on the table, and it's got a pretty cool little, uh, like a duck hunting scene on it here. Got ducks and a guy with a shotgun here and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And this says uh, Wendell August Forging, number 275. It's got an old price sticker on it from the bottom, from someplace. 
seven dollars. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll bring more than that. And then these look like they might hang on something. They're uh, a couple of little uh, dishes that have chains and a hook on the end thingy. They probably go with something else, I'm not sure. But there's at least two of them, so maybe a balance scale kind of a deal. This is, looks like a lid from something. And a bunch of more candy dishes with handles and stuff on them. That's kind of cool. Got a nice little leaf design as a handle on that one. Hand wrought silver look. I've seen that mark quite a few times. deeper bowl with the bamboo worked into it. Everlast forged aluminum. And it looks hammered on the bottom. It's got a hammered finish on the bottom side here. So this is another, looks like it might have held like maybe a glass dish at some point, a bowl support or something like that. Because I don't see any bowls that would fit into these. I've got two like this. And this again is silver look. And this one's in pretty good shape. Really good condition. Most of these are in excellent condition. They're not too beaten up. They're just dirty from being stored for so long. Here's a pretty one with flowers and leaves and stuff on it. Wendell August. So I'm going to do some research on this stuff and see what I can figure out about uh, some of the provenance on some of these things and hopefully this was a uh, a nice score that I can make some money off of. Alrighty, bye bye for now.